let me tell you about the five hardest styles to tattoo guys now if you're a tattoo artist you're going to love this video packed full of stuff let's get into it let's talk about american traditional guys if you're a beginner tattoo artist or you haven't actually started yet you can be forgiven for thinking that this is going to be an easy tattoo style but trust me you are in for a shock guys traditional tattoo styles require immaculate technical skill these are going to expose all your flaws as a tattoo artist you need perfect lines perfect color packing you cannot hide your mistakes with a traditional tattoo guys you really need a strong knowledge of tradition tattoo tradition if you're going to pull this style off this style originated from the old sailors who used to visit asia and the south pacific and picked up tattoos uh, as mementos for their travels and that kind of uh, started the whole tradition off guys and it is also very influenced by the japanese uh, tattoo culture you will see a lot of similarities in these two styles guys you really need to know your machine to be able to execute these tattoos these require very thick needles perfect color packing so your risk of actually overworking the skin or damaging the client's skin is really high with traditional tattoo styles because of the, the saturation that's required so guys let me know in the comments if you are a traditional tattoo artist and how you found that when you were starting out how difficult is our traditional tattoos but guys let's move on to number four on this list which is geometric guys geometric is an extremely specialized style of tattooing and it requires almost mathematical precision in terms of planning and uh, actually getting these things to fit the body and work well with the body guys these are absolutely no joke these require immaculate execution and technical skill of tattooing guys to pull these off if you're not a master at geometric um, and this sort of tattoo style and you try to do one of these tattoos it's just not going to look right guys because you really need to know how to give it a, a good finish and a kind of soft look and uh a nice texture and that is something that most people aren't able to do these require so much variety in terms of the different techniques you're using so you're going to be using lining which has to be perfect you're going to be using different shading techniques so smooth shading and uh, dot work and all this other stuff guys you're going to need to be a really good technical tattoo artist to be able to pull off geometric guys if you've done geometric tattoos let me know definitely one of the hardest tattoo styles talked about American traditional now we're going to talk about the style that heavily influenced it and that is Japanese traditional tattoos it has been perfected over thousands of years and it's not a style that you can just jump into guys without doing your research every single thing on a tat Japanese tattoo has a meaning everything down to the direction that certain things are facing you know if you've got a koi that's going up uh, downstream uh, upstream Japanese dragons that have the head at the top head at the bottom like everything has a, its own significance and meaning guys so these tattoos obviously show off all the technical flaws that you would have um, just like an American traditional tattoo except you've got all this rich culture which uh, has to be uh, respected when you're put, doing these tattoos guys so if you, unless you're a master Japanese drawer you're going to struggle with this style and most people that do Japanese styles do not do other styles because it actually takes that much uh, concentration and that much uh, planning and everything else guys the sheer scale of these tattoos are absolutely huge Japanese tattoos tend to be about bodysuits um, you know whole large areas so big sleeves stuff like that you don't really see just small Japanese tattoos I mean obviously everything gets adapted over time but Japanese tattoos are all about body suits guys these are what the old yakuza members in japan used to which is like the mafia basically that this is the tattoos that these guys used to have and it's actually a beautiful art form guys nothing else really compares to japanese tattoos um i don't know if you've ever heard of tebori but this is how the guys used to do these tattoos so they didn't used to use machines they used to use needles on a stick of bamboo all hand poked uh, most of them now are using machines to do their line work but might still do tebori for the color work because you do get deeper saturation from doing tabori guys i can tell you myself that japanese tattooing is not easy it requires a lot of planning and you need to really understand tattooing and uh, the way that they flow with the body um i'll give you an example guys my first japanese tattoo that i ever did was actually uh, a request from a client who had a half finished japanese sleeve which he was unable to get finished and um he came to me and I, I actually continued someone else's work guys let me know in the comments what you think about actually finishing off some other artists work because I'm sure that's a controversial subject that you guys will love to get stuck into guys I know you love that sort of stuff but guys since then I have done a few more and uh, I like to think I've developed it a little bit but I'm not a Japanese specialist 
And if you're not a Japanese master drawer, you're literally just going to be trying to make it all work with a background and the flow of the body, guys. It is no joke. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. So guys, um, on that note, let's move on to what is the two hardest styles to tattoo. Guys, the next tattoo style on this list could easily be number one. The barrier to entry on this tattoo style is the highest out of any of them. Um, we're talking about color realism, guys. So we're talking about hundreds of needles, tons of colors set up. Um, massive long tattoo sessions. You really need a deep understanding of art and color theory to pull these tattoos off. These are not just something that as a beginner you can just jump into, especially not if you've never been a painter or you don't have a deep understanding of art and color theory. As I say, I personally find this the hardest style. Uh, my brain seems to work more in um, monotone. Guys, color realism is a different ball game. These require extremely good saturation of the skin and there are not many skin breaks either. So your risk of actually overworking the skin like traditional styles is, is quite high. So you've got high risk of infection, high risk of uh, causing issues to your client. Um, so that is one of the things that makes it difficult. But the other thing guys is that the pigments that you're working with, they're always evolving and none of them are perfect. If you're working with a yellow or an orange, you will find that is extremely difficult to, to get into the skin. Um, also white is quite difficult as well. I mean, if you've used white and you know, maybe you don't do color tattoos, but you do highlights on your black and gray and stuff, you'll notice white is a hard pigment to, to use. And there's a lot of other pigments like that as well. Guys, color realism is one of the hardest tattoo styles. Um, but when these tattoos are fresh, guys, they look amazing. Like they look like paintings, they look amazing. Um, I wouldn't say they heal as good as black and gray in my opinion. Uh, depends on your skin tone really if you're really pale then you can get nice healed uh, color tattoos um, color realism tattoos but guys let me know what you think in the comments let me know if you disagree or you agree with this list or if I've missed anything out um, that is color realism but we're gonna move on to now what I think is the hardest tattoo style of them all now guys as I say with number one number two you can kind of uh, switch these switch these up because everyone's brain works differently some people work in color and some people work in black and gray. Black and gray realism for me is what I think is the hardest tattoo style of them all. Guys, some people are really good at color traditional tattoos, but they suck at black and gray. Um, maybe suck is a bit of a strong word, but they are not good at black and gray. And other people are amazing at black and gray, but they can't do color. So guys, let me know which way around you are. But black and gray is, is harder I think than color tattoos because black and gray, you cannot hide your mistakes like you can with color, you can't just color blend in a different tone black and gray will expose all of your artistry guys so all of your shading or your smooth shading your saturation of black yeah uh, your smooth transitions you can see if someone's not a good artist by their black and gray especially if they're doing a portrait or something you can it exposes everything guys and all the highest level artists tend to uh to have some experience in black and gray um one of the reasons as well that makes it the hardest is because it is the most sought after style. It is the most saturated in terms of your competition. And uh, and these are just some of the reasons, guys, why I think black and gray is the hardest tattoo style. I have actually done, um, oh, well, I specialize in black and gray myself and I can tell you it's no joke. It took me years to develop uh, my black and gray style into something that I was proud to uh, to show and um, I was happy with. And, um, and even now, you know, guys, it's, it's hit and miss. Like not every black and gray tattoo is gonna uh, or re black and gray realism tattoo is gonna come out the way you want to because it just varies so much guys especially on the skin um let me know what kind of artist you are guys let me know if i've missed anything out um you know i'm always happy to engage with you guys always happy to answer your questions in depth guys that is my list of the top five hardest tattoo styles uh, i hope you enjoyed the video do subscribe do appreciate the support and uh let's catch up in the comments and i will see you next time